Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Delmar Exotic. It's your boy Dave. We're back live in the Serpentarium, our second video of the year, and we're just checking in on the snakes and doing a quick update. So, Delmar, we're back with another video. It's the middle of January, and we still got the snakes paired up and not seeing any success, any ovulations, any swelling, or anything like that. But we're going to keep at it until we see some success. We still got a long season ahead of us. It is just the middle of January. We're going to keep those guys paired up till about mm, April or so, late May, till we start to see some significant results. It is a feeding day for us. We got all about nine or ten snakes to feed, so we're going to get out and get some rats put down and get some snakes fed up. In the meantime, you guys just sit back and enjoy the video. Everybody wants to talk about, you know, the hobby and how the hobby is growing. Well, the hobby is growing, but if you're going to do it right, you got to do it right. So that's the real quick. Let's take a look at the stack. Like all boa constrictors in the right way that you keep them, you know. All right, everybody, here's our breeding pair of boas. We have our snow bow and our moon glow. And as you can see, they're all cuddled up in the back corner underneath their shelf there, looking all beautiful. Let's see if we can't slide this water bowl out of the way. Don't see like you have any kind of lock or anything going on, but there's everybody all cuddled up. Looking all beautiful. Nice big fresh water bowl. Here we have our boy Phoenix. Phoenix is our junglo boa constrictor. Like I said, it's feeding day. So look how everybody's reacting to the camera. I'm like, please bring me the food. Bring it out now. And then we pop up one more cage. And here's our beautiful VPI. Miss Brown Sugar, produced by Tony Antonucci from Shy Town Constrictors. This peaks on her saddles. All right, let's check on our hungry balls and see how they're doing. Here's our 0 0.1 pastel clown, produced by Don Shea Tate. Sitting there looking all beautiful. She's got some significant size to her now. All right, let's check in on her. Banana Super Inchy Hat Orange Ghost produced by the Scale Shack. You can tell it's breeding season because this guy's been on and off food for the first time ever. But other than that, this guy is two and a half years old. And looking pretty damn good. All right, next one we're gonna check in on is gonna be our lesser leopard produced by Royal Underground. Shout out to Nate for producing this beautiful and possible pastel. But as you can see, she's done some significant growing. She's hit her one year mark back in November. And this snake, believe it or not, ain't missed a meal yet since we've had her. So. Shout out to Royal Underground for producing this beautiful Lesser Leopard Possible Pastel. All right, so like I said, it's a feeding day. So we're gonna jump over to the ARS rodent rack and pick out our appropriate size feeders. And as you can see, we got a bunch of different bins to choose from, but we keep our feeders that we are gonna feed off in these two bins here. Try to keep the bigger ones there and our pole recently pulled and growing up in this bin here. Show you what it's talking about. Here's our grow out bin. Some of the rodents that we're gonna grab out of here. Cute little things. But we're gonna grab some of these guys and get these guys fed up. Hey, 
<laughs> Don't want to chill on the water lines. Right here is where we do most of our dirty work. As you can see, we got our CO2 container and regulator all hooked up. We got it piped in to our NOx boxes, I like to call it. The NOx boxes, we knock them out with it. We'll weigh them up, then we'll bag them up and put them in the deep freezer because we don't do any kind of live feeding here at Delmarva Exotics whatsoever. I think it's cruel, it's inhumane. As you can see, those were some really cute rice, so we just put them in here, put them to sleep. Go ahead and get these guys ready to go. And just stuff them in. Close that down, like so. And then we'll go get another rat. Getting them packed in there. Put that in, seal it up. Pop our little funnel, turn on our gas. And this don't take long. It's nice slow flow. And we just wait. A few muscle ticks as they spazzing up. And just let it rock. And that's pretty much it. We'll come in. We'll cut the gas back. Keep a small little flow, let it fill up. Boom, just like that. Fresh pre-killed rodents. All right, next snake up is my guy, Phoenix. This could be a little bit different, difficult doing it one hand and trying to record with another. Say everything is content, so here we go. We're about to feed Miss Onyx right now. And as you can see, she's on it. She can take it in her house. Show you guys what this constrictor's doing. guys in frame. That's Miss Onyx taking her food for us guys. And again Onyx is our IMG Annery Boa produced by Craig Cade. She is three years old. A little bit different, a little bit difficult. We'll feed this girl way up here. And as you can see, she's on her food all the time. And try to do this and not get bit. Savage. Savage VPI. Next guy we're gonna try to get to feed, and it's been a little while, is our banana inchy. Super inchy, excuse me. Hat for orange goose. And it looks like he might take a meal for us too. Or maybe not. Can't coax him into a meal. Looks like this guy is just going to be in chill mode. Oh well, no harm, no foul. He's not losing any weight, he looks good. It's where people worry about ball pythons 
and experience comes into hand. Not every time they're going to feed, especially in the winter months, because it is their breeding time. So the males kind of tend to eat less. But as you can see, he's maintaining good body composition, so I ain't worried about him. We'll just close him up and feed his off to the next. All right, let's see if we can get our pastel clown to feed up for us. Got a nice fresh rodent for her. She didn't feed for us the last time, so hopefully we can get her to take a meal. Looks like she's going to take. It's just a little defensive. Look at, there we go. Boom, she's on them. Just like that. Pastel Clown has been fed. All right, Delmarva. All right, everybody. We appreciate you guys stopping in on another week. We're going to wrap it up. Sorry, I got a little long-winded. Sorry, I ended up dying in the middle of our recording of some of those ball pythons that we have upstairs. But we appreciate you guys and everyone who takes the moment and the time to take our videos out. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Help us grow our channel. We're going to keep trying to pump out regular videos. I'm not going to be like everybody else and say, oh, I'm going to put a video out every week, every two weeks or anything. But I am going to try to be very consistent and put regular content out as we continue our breeding um, of our boas for the rest of this season and growing them up. Till next time, we appreciate y'all. Y'all be safe. And as always, one exotic.